Objects like supernova explosions, neutron star collisions, and the formation of black holes all play a role in the generation of gamma rays. This, then, represents the outer limits of our astronomical and physical knowledge. In March of 2008, astronomers witnessed the dim light in the sky suddenly come on for almost a minute before slowly going out again. For all the interested sky watchers out there, this is a delight. But it's also a reminder that our tiny planet is in the crosshairs of a very powerful cosmic weapon. Experts believe this weapon was responsible for wiping out all life on Earth about the year 44 million years ago. In October of 2022, one of these cosmic power sources once again brought home the fragility of existence. Could past events happen again in this infinite universe? Is it this cosmic superweapon's fault because we're always by ourselves in the universe? Does gamma radiation really pack that much of a punch? Finally, does Earth have what it takes to survive the possible destruction brought on by this heavenly superweapon? The purpose of today's lesson is to begin answering these concerns. We should get started right immediately. As any fan of science fiction knows, heroes and villains with gamma powers are not to be trifled with. Gamma ray bursts by a strange twist of fate are the most powerful explosions in the cosmos. An extremely massive star, one with a mass many times that of the Sun, can collapse into a black hole in a fraction of a second. After shedding its outer layers, the star sends forth two beams of light so intense that they can be seen from billions of light years away. During these brief gamma ray bursts, more energy is released than the Sun could produce in a billion years. Gamma rays, a wholly unexpected finding, were found by chance. That finding, however, sparked an international hunt that has spanned decades and continues to this day, involving hundreds of astronomers from every continent and nearly every observatory on Earth. But in the early hours of Sunday, October 9, 2022, astronomers all across the world were taken aback by the passing of an extraordinarily bright and long-lasting pulse of tremendous energy that swept over the planet. According to scientists, the gamma ray burst identified on Sunday was the most powerful ever seen, releasing nearly 18 tera electron volts of energy in a brief burst, enough to power the United States for an entire year in 2021. Scientists initially assumed the gamma ray burst emanated from a nearby source, but later determined that the actual distance to the source was closer to 2.4 billion light years. However, even though both gamma ray bursts were relatively far from Earth, a closer one might have had disastrous effects on our planet. Specifically, gamma ray bursts have been hypothesized as the cause of the 440 mass extinction. Do gamma ray bursts account for the fact that we haven't found intelligent life anywhere else in the universe? In the 1950s, scientist Enrico Fermi wondered aloud over lunch, where is everybody? There must be some other sentient society out there with the technology to travel between the stars, given the sheer quantity of stars in the universe. If that's the case, then how come no alien ships have come nearer to our large blue planet? To what extent do we find ourselves completely alone in the cosmos? There was no evidence for such civilizations in Fermi's day, and there is none now. The Fermi paradox is based on the idea that an advanced civilization a million years ahead of our own should have left signs of its existence in the sky by now. It is possible that the chemical makeup of a planet's atmosphere is altered when the powerful gamma ray beam accidentally reaches an unlucky, habitable planet, depleting whatever layer is built up to defend against dangerous cosmic radiation. This would mean that the planet would be subjected to even more cosmic waves, killing off even the most radiation-resistant creatures that would otherwise contribute to its flourishing. For hypothetical sentient life forms like ourselves, this is not good news. The arrival of sentient life on Earth was likely slowed or even prevented due to the frequency with which this event occurred or because it occurred at a crucial moment in the planet's evolutionary history. The frequency of these death rays needs to be discussed in relation to a potential timeline of intelligence progression when contemplating the existence of extraterrestrial civilizations. Even cosmologist James Ennis considered this possibility. He put up the astrophysical idea of a transitional phase between the absence of intelligent life in the galaxy and the expected dense population of intelligent life. According to his research, the Milky Way galaxy is at a critical juncture where new forms of life can emerge and thrive. 
The notion is that we are entering an era in which the frequency of gamma ray bursts is low enough to allow life to grow more freely, in contrast to earlier epochs in which the frequency was higher and the potential intelligent species would have been inhibited from emerging owing to the radiation onslaught. Thus, the gradual decrease in gamma ray burst activity may be a mechanism that promotes the survival of living things. Given the chance to voice out, this also modifies the premises of Fermi's paradox, which gives us a far longer duration in the billions and billions of years for life to spread and interact with each other. The paradox assumes that there exists another intelligent life out there that may have made contact with us. In reality, they could be able to, or just have started, exploring space. Or, as Anna speculates, there might be no intelligent life on the planet they're on. Thankfully for us Earthlings, none of the detected bursts have come from anywhere near our Milky Way galaxy. What if, though, a gamma ray burst suddenly appeared in the area? As a highly developed species, what would happen to us? Could we do anything about it, even if we wanted to? Gamma rays are extremely harmful because they are extremely powerful bursts of energy. There is a huge difference in intensity between one gamma ray photon and a million regular photons. Now, imagine that this cosmic superweapon was aimed squarely at Earth. Damage to Earth from a nearby gamma ray burst would be comparable to that caused by an asteroid strike. For starters, it would instantly wipe out our atmosphere, leaving us vulnerable to dangerously high amounts of UV radiation from the sun as there would be no protective ozone layer to shield us. Sunburn and skin cancer rates would reach unprecedented heights. Herbivores that primarily feed on plants would perish along with all plant life, and the unidirectional flow of energy would be disrupted. After the death of the majority of plants, the oxygen level in the atmosphere would drop dramatically, leading to the deaths of many creatures, including carnivores and omnivores. There's just so much that can be done to prolong human life, even with as many oxygen masks as feasible. If our satellites could detect the gamma rays hurtling towards Earth at nearly the speed of light, it wouldn't alter much. The good news is that our ozone layer can regenerate naturally, but this will take an absurdly long period. As a result, the sun was able to thoroughly scorch our house before we fled, leaving us entirely exposed. Do you think we're going to perish soon? Also, what can we do to help Earth? In a galaxy like ours, we may encounter a gamma ray burst once every thousand years, and even then, it would be too far away to cause any damage. But there is something we can do to improve our dwelling. There are more pressing dangers to life on Earth than trying to come up with a million techniques to deflect a gamma ray. The loss of habitat, for example, could cause a number of animal and plant species to go extinct. We could also use reusable shopping bags and water bottles instead of throwing them away after one use. As the old adage goes, you must choose to take hold of what you can control and let go of what you can't. There are countless potential threats to the survival of humanity, but all we can do is focus on what we can influence. Thank you for watching this video until the end. If you liked it, leave us a like and subscribe to our channel to make sure you don't miss out on any incredible space news. Now, I have another space video ready for you. Click on the video on your screen and let us take you to another space adventure. See you there.